Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is your friend, yes, your best friend, the real rant reviewer, back with another awesome rant. And this is a request from a subscriber. Shout out to Sketch. Uh, Sketch, thank you for the comment. He's my main man and a subscriber of the channel. And thanks for leaving the comment and, and the suggestion to do the original thing by John Carpenter, 1982's The Thing rant review. Awesome rant review, guys, for this one. And so a uh, shout out to him. Thank you very much. So let's, you know, spoilers ahead, of course, guys. You know, I go through my freestyle, my thoughts on the movie, and then we go through the plot and wrap this shit up. So, yes, starring Kurt Russell, guys, John Carpenter's The Thing, the original. Now, I'm not going to go into the history of the movie with the film's failure, and now it's cult classic, and all the, uh, any conspiracy theories about the movie, or any hidden scenes and hidden meanings and stuff like that. No, no, no. Um, uh, production or, or stuff like that. We're going into, yes, anything cinematic. So let's go to it. Um, my thoughts, uh, practical effects, of course. Everyone praises the practical effects because they are the best in the business, whether it's today or tomorrow. Sure, no doubt about it, guys. Um, or effects, period, without CGI. You know, even with CGI, today is nothing compared to what they do here, as you see here in this fucking guy right here. So what a fucking movie when it comes to the uh, creature the alien, so what you want to call it, the thing. Now, the only thing for me is with the thing is they could have titled it something, but now they, they're doing this. Carpenter was doing this movie um, off the original uh, thing from another world, so he just titled it The Thing. But see, I think now they say the failure of the film was due to a lot of reasons, guys. But for me, a uh, main reason would have to be the title because it's The Thing. And it's like, well, people refer it to the old movie, and they say, well, this is, you know, back then in the 82 when it's coming out, I'm talking. You know, I wasn't I wasn't alive in '82 to see it. Saw it about in the '90s, early '90s on Laserdisc. So for the first time, and then watched it ever since on on video in the 2000s. Uh, you know, on VHS over and over, millions of times. Loved it. Loved the feel of the movie. Loved the atmosphere. You got to give credit to the cinematography, the feel, the environment. It puts you right there. Um, John Carpenter, amazing in this film. What he what he wants to do. But like I was saying, you know. Though that's the only downfall, like I mentioned. Um, honestly, one of the downfalls of the film. So, but moving on, uh, I want to give praise to the movie because it's an awesome movie. There's no doubt about it. The claustrophobia um, is intense, and this is before uh, this is before anything we've ever known, you know, like this. So to trap these guys in, in a place in Antarctica and have something coming after them, and, and you don't know who's who, it was pretty good, you know, very good. Um, but like I always say. Uh, t pacing wise, it was it good pacing. Yeah, it was because every scene was important. Every scene had to tell something, and you were interested in every scene. You were very interested. So yeah, um, that that's that's my thoughts. Freestyle. So let's go through the plot, guys. Wrap this shit up. Um, so yeah, you get Mr. Kurt Russell here, and Mr. Kurt Russell. But but, but like before I go through the plot, guys, like I was saying with the title, it was like you know. I don't want to harp on it too much. Please leave your comments down below if you agree or disagree. I really appreciate it. But the thing is, is the title, I think it was something different. I don't know what. It could have been, you know, Peanut Bananas or something. You know what I mean? It could have been anything. And I think it would have drew more of a crowd. I think a crowd would have been more a different kind of crowd. And, uh, and the same crowd. Sci-fi horror. But also a different crowd. Would have been more curious to see this movie. But hence a better opening. Hence a better, uh, you know, money. But anyways, we know Carpenter. So we love him in a way, but, you know, this this movie we love. So this is Carpenter's, for me, it's Carpenter definitely top five, and it would probably be top three. So, but let's say it's not a Carpenter ranking, is it? It's for another rant ranking. Let's do this for the plot. So, yeah, you meet Kurt Russell. He's basically the star of the movie, guys. You meet Kurt Russell, the focus, and, and he is the focus of the movie. Basically, it all revolves around this man because he is the leader. He flies the helicopter chopper, and he leads this uh, NRA crew of scientists that are doing research here in Antarctica, I believe. And and as you see, uh, ba basically what they do is uh, a plane, a, a, ch a helicopter comes in with some Norwegian people. They can't understand them. They end up shooting, killing one of them because they're shooting weapons and chasing a dog. So this dog gets away. They take, they take the dog in, McCready and his crew. And they kill the Norwegians, and they end up blowing themselves up, the Norwegians, as well. So there's no information to be gotten from them of why they were chasing this dog. So anyways, they take the dog in, and McCready wants to find more. So they, they're able to trace where they came from, this, these Norwegians. And they go to their base. McCready here, Mr. Russell, with a couple of his boys. 
And they show up, and everyone's dead. It's a fucking massacre. They're all dead or whatever. And they find a body or two. But they find a spaceship hole, a hole where a spaceship is or some shit. And they find a, a block of ice or some shit. It's, it's empty. And then they go outside and find a body that's mangled to shit. It's all twisted and shit. And they, they can't even tell what the fuck it is. They bring it back. It stinks. They bring it back. And uh, they have the guy there, William Bradley or Bro- Bro- Bilford. Bilford, whatever, you, William Bilford, you remember, guys remember him, uh, Rip, right, anyways, uh, he's the doctors, two doctors in this, anyways, they're not really worth mentioning, they are worth mentioning, but, you know, not by name, so anyways, the doctors, they, they all do an autopsy on this body, and they figure out that it's a, it was a human, it's two humans that are one, they're trying to be one, or something like that, so it scares them a little bit, anyways, as the night goes on, you see the dog run around and roam around and go into other people's rooms and shit like that. And they put the dog back in the kennel one night, and the, the dog starts acting weird. And shit hits the fan, guys. Here it goes, Mr. Carpenter. And so the dogs uh, start mutating, guys, and attacking the other dogs. And it's it's cool. It's, it's crazy. And they call for the flamethrower. They call Childs. Childs gets the flamethrower. And one of the guys there, and they, they end up burning this fucking thing. But, uh... So they burn it, and they re-examine it again, and they say, okay, now, now the doctor here is able to get more information, and he's really fucking worried, because he knows that this thing is, what he thinks it's doing is, is uh, animating, or, or reanimating, taking over, basically, cell by cell, taking over people, and being fake people, basically. It's an alien form, and it's taking over people, and being them. So... There's a lot of other shit, guys. I'm skipping over. Great movie. Great details. So, just going to the broad brushstroke here. And so, the doctor loses it. And he wants to, like, disable the helicopter, which he does. And in the meantime, people are getting lost and shit like that. And killed off or turned into one of the things here. And getting killed. So, people are getting picked off one by one. So, but this, this fucking guy sees it, uh, Mr. Doctor. And he, he sabotages the helicopter. And he, he, he knows that, you know, he don't want this shit to get to the mainland. So, yeah, he sabotages everything. But they were supposed to do him and contain him and put him in a shack. Leave him out there. They don't know if he's the, if he's the thing or not. We don't know. We don't know who is. That's the great thing about this movie, guys. You don't know, ever. You don't. At least I didn't. Leave comments down below if you did. But uh, you get to the point here where everybody's fucking fed up, and they're like, listen, we got to find out who's the thing. And the dude, one of the other doctors that's left is like, yo, we'll do a blood test. So we'll test the blood, right? Okay. But somebody spills the blood, and they're all arguing about who, who opened the, the thing and spilled the blood. So somebody got one key, and the gun's pulled, and they're fucking freaking out some more. So this shit's ramping up. And so um, what do they do? So they... <laughs> <laughs> this is basically when it comes down to the paranoia and everything. It's like, fuck it. Uh, what happens is they go out to check on. I guess they go out to find somebody. That's right. They go out to find a, a dude that was lost or the crew members. They find his body. He's been burnt. He burnt himself or the thing got to him. Whatever happened, he's dead. And then what they, what they do is McCready goes off with this other guy and says, hey, wait here. I left my light on. My sh- I turned my light off my shack the other night. Now it's on. Somebody's got to be up in there. So they go, and the, and the other dude runs back. Windows, this little wussy or whatever. Or, or not Windows, the other guy. And he runs back, and he tells them where they went. And that he, they haven't come back. So finally, McCready, though, co- comes back. And they think he's the thing, of course, because he's, he's been gone so long. And then he gets in, though, and he has dynamite, McCready. And he's like, yo, you fucking flamethrow me, bitch, you know. I'm blowing us all the smithereens. And it works. They drop the flamethrowers, the weapons. McCready's able to get the upper hand and get the flamethrower and with the dynamite held. And then he's like, you motherfuckers, you're going to kill me. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's this guy, Clark, another one of the crew members here. And he wants to stab McCready. You see it. Great visual. He's waiting for his opportunity to time to do it. But one of the guys has a fucking heart attack all of a sudden, guy. He has a heart attack. So the doctor starts working on him. And guess what? He's the fucking thing. This dude opens up his chest and eats the doctor's arms. So this guy was the thing that's having the heart attack and, uh, you know, kills the doc. And then the thing starts going. Everybody goes nuts and shit. But but um, they get out of there and they regroup. So after they regroup and shit, what they do is um, they're going to test the blood. They're going to – McCready's going to do another blood test because he's figured something out on how to test the blood efficiently to find out who's the thing or who's human. 
But Clark, the dude I mentioned here, this is where he takes his opportunity, I believe. I'm sorry, I'm out of order, excuse me, to stab Mr. Russell. Um, but Mr. Russell shoots him dead in the head very quickly. Tries Mr. Russell, he's bad move. And so Clark's dead. So they end up testing everyone's blood, even the dead people. Clark, the doctor, everyone. Everyone, they test the blood. Everyone's pretty much human, guys. Until it comes down to this one motherfucker. And he's been pretty low-key. He just smokes a little bit of dope and shit here and there. But I forget his uh, name. But he was... Uh, uh, it'll come to me, I guess. Who cares? Because he's about to turn into the thing. He is one of the... Palmer. That's him. Palmer. So one of the crew members named Palmer is the thing. He... Now, this metamorphosis he does is pretty corny. All right? It's pretty corny. It's a guy in a suit, too. And it, the graphics are corny. There is CGI here. This is impractical. And then there is a practical effect. But it's corny. He gets blown up by McCready. And what is really cool, before he gets blown up, he's able to eat windows. Another crew member guy, he's a scientist too, he's able to fucking swallow him almost whole and fucking turn him into the thing. And he's sitting in the corner. Really great visual, guys. Great, great, great effects. Fucking sick. And then, so McCready has to do him before he turns into the thing. And he fucking fries him. So now it's down to like, what, three, four of them? McCready and three others. And basically, they split up to. Um, look for Mr. Man that they uh, tied up in the shack. The other, the last the main doctor that went psycho, they, they haven't seen him in a while because guess what? He escaped and he's been building a ship. So he is the thing. He's became the thing or he was the thing, what have you. They don't really explain it, but you just come to the conclusion he was a thing at some point and he built this ship already and he wants to get the fuck out of there so, or go back to the freeze or whatever. McCready says um, to somebody else finds it, whatever. See, there's a difference there because there's an oxymoron statement there because he's building a ship to escape, and then McCready says no, he wants to throw it back into the ice. So, but they destroy the ship, so he's got to throw it back. So, anyways, they're looking for the, the Mister Doctor thing, and they come across him, but he takes everybody out one by one. Finally, he becomes this big, huge motherfucking thing, creature. He goes after McCready. McCready sends him with a nice little saying, sends him to the next world, blows him up, blows the whole fucking place up. Always at it. Everything's on fire, so the thing can't fucking thaw. And that's it. It's McCready. He's human. He's alive. But wait a second. Childs. Childs comes out of nowhere. This guy, one of the scientist guys that ran off earlier, I didn't mention. Mr. Childs. He's alive. He comes back. And he's sitting with McCready, and they're drinking some liquor or what have you. I'm not going over conspiracy theories, guys. Just talking what I saw. And they drink the liquor back and forth. And, of course, they're very suspicious of each other. And so are you on you know that... McCready's human, but is Childs the thing, and you don't know, um, but you can watch the movie and over and try to guess some things, and please leave a comment if you did pick something up, that'd be cool, I'd love to listen and read it, uh, and, and read your opinion on this movie and anything else you notice, so, and that's it, that's how the movie ends, close curtain on them two surviving, and one of them maybe being the thing or not, so, wow, what a fucking movie, great effects, it sticks with you, you will remember this movie, uh, thanks to Sketch Man, you know, it's big sketch, thank you for this uh, suggestion, and for the comment, and for the sub, uh, but I love you guys, thank you guys for the, listening to this awesome rant on the thing, take care.